When did you link with Massacre? This is long after. Mm-hmm. Um, conscience became conscience. And, and I was conscience for a good number of years. Mm-hmm. Link with Corey Todd, yes. Rami, and I said, I go do a shoe line. Yes. Which was a great, great, great experience. I mean, I um, do a show line and, and it was a vibe. It was a real vibe. Mm-hmm. But that, that's a part of my, my, my story, my product, that whole thing there. The shoe, because remember, that's merch, you know, but that's merch to a whole that's different product. Level. That's another mer- product. You know what? Talking about it, you're right. Merch would be a t shirt, right. this and that. But a shoes? Yeah, I would never do I wouldn't do it again, though. I wouldn't mess with shoes again. How come? It's, it's a complex thing, man. Like, I don't know, you just get some little thing and it's a complex thing. Product, um, to make sure the product them up to standard and Korea for flag or China and go live there and for like a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Crazy thing, but we love yeah. it the same way and we love the store and everything. At the time, Massacre Link, Koretad and I, I want to work with Koretad. So he must, he must show me this artist and I say, Yo, nah. oh, he never, he never feel like say, my artist and me have at the time match me with aggression. Mm. Because Corey is a visionary, you know? much I create on kingdom, you know? Yeah. You see? So, he might look upon it and I say, oh, see the artist them. But my artist them just, them just happy and spoiled and a business. They left the studio and gone on tour and no song yeah. vice and them vibes. Because my brother, them, them man, they just want to burn up some weed and all the vibes with some girl and chill. We make sure him that all right and him good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, he must say, yo, you're the artist, yeah. He play me massacre. I don't know what I tell them. I try to remember if I did sold from mm-hmm. Jump. From Jump. Um, I think he played me one song where Massacre did have a, a bounty killer sample in it. I mean, I made the same lyrical for sure. But I never really, I can't say I was sold from Jump. Mm-hmm. And when we meet him now, and him found out the studio now, mm-hmm. I just start realizing that you is it. Because I know one of the projects you guys worked on, you hosted his mixtape. Yeah, my first mixtape I would drop on me, enjoy it to yeah. the world and crazy. Mm-hmm. Crazy. I don't mean, remember how much song, but any amount of song you hear on the mixtape, him do about three times the amount of that song there for the mixtape. Yeah. So, I say, yes, this yeah. is a vibe. And you guys, at the same time you guys did Money, that song Money at yeah, the same time? Yeah, together, Money, yeah. And but, again, visuals. Bad, yeah, man. Yeah. Crazy. Doing stuff with my... Was he the only... Him, Dario, and any other artists were in the camp at that time that, quite, as, that had a name? Quite, yeah, man. No, not really had a name. Quite a few, but there was a bunch, but I wouldn't say them have a name. And, I, and, and they weren't signed. Okay. They were more endorsed mm-hmm. by the only person who did, who did actually sign to subconscious was Dario, and then mm-hmm. signed Massacre. Oh, you did say, okay, it was official? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Long after. Yeah. Because me did have two managers, and Dario come to me and I say, yo, um, my manager them not take film things serious. Mm-hmm. So my reason, Mr. Tim said, you know, I'm going to do dog, I'm going to sign you. Because the reason why they don't take it serious is because they are not me. Like me not try to earn from you. Mm-hmm. But them man, they earn from me. So <laughs> them not going to take things serious just mm-hmm. because of a friend thing and me introduce everybody. You know what I mean? So maybe if I sign you and it become income for them, or possibly income for them, they will probably take your work more serious. So it's still never me. work. A strategy type of sign. Right. Because you didn't sign him to say, okay, this is mine here. No. Strategy, if I, if they see he's really endorsed by me, hopefully they'll take it seriously right. and we call If they see that this is possible money, yeah. then maybe they'll see this as a business. Mm-hmm. And it still didn't it work. It did not work. Because conscience work was just too easy. Yeah. <laughs> you just sit down on the phone and ring. And you on site and you just like, get booked. You know, you have them people you want to sign and them people. Like, it's just too easy. Mm-hmm. And it, that teach me about even business now where, where when I work with certain labels and certain um, agencies, like I understand things now, like if it not me, make immediate money, it's hard for you to get people to go and shine a light on you. That's just the, the way our life set up. And how long were, was Massacre in the camp? Not for long, mm-hmm. for about a year, a year and a half, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that's a breeze. But I just do the amount of work we do. is I still do that. Mm-hmm. I remember one time I was in Africa. Come in, I go on tour of Africa and I work on a song and back and forth. I try to say, Yo, I'm fi- fix a line here, Yo, fix a line here. And I just live in my studio mm-hmm. till I end up stop going to my studio for some reason. I'm an artist around the world and I say, I, I, 
him start going different too, then I see him think. So I got always respect that you feel more ethic. Because even though you guys went through that eruption there, years later I continue to hear you big him up. So yeah. it was never really a because there was yeah he he came out did his interview you came out did your interviews all of those stuff there was he even did a song and all of those stuff there but you still turn around and say you know what that you care about car business is business mm -hmm. yeah and is that you where they link me from before all of that to and tell me say yo Ray both but from me now you will get into that still mm -hmm. but business is business and me love that me you know say him didn't need that for kinda like an artist like that a good percentage of them. Success I gonna come from just lighting fire, mm. lighting the fire. It can't just be like yo easy back and do some song or you, you see some fire light now. They my alkaline, I want it go on, you see me. But I just that, that type of artist there. Me know say me can get to we just doing girl song and it a go work and me go on tour. So you have to do what you have to do, dog. But you're such a warrior. You never got into a because I know there's been situations, personal situations wrong and stuff. But you've never got into a clash with an artist before. No. How come? I don't know. It was one was close to happen with Demarco. There was a little back and forth yes. with Demarco. Me and Demarco are bridging now. Too. And course. them things just show you how life really set up, dog. Like mm. everything of phases and stages, and you can't really have up things in your heart and I walk with it all the days of your life. Mm. Can. It, you know, me and Demarco do songs where they are, we are right. Everything yeah, you're on his album, Melody, the Melody yeah. album and stuff like that. You know yeah, but I mean? that's just the, the nature of the, of the industry that we're in. That's what it was at the time. Mm -hmm. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusica.com.